She accused me of being a cold-hearted a-hole that was only using her for S-word fun. Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Let's begin the journey. Today's video, Am I the A-Hole for Breaking Up With My Girlfriend When She Tested Me? Guys, this is an excellent story to learn from about how to handle poop or shite tests from women because all women do it. When they go too far, you have to walk away and never look back. My thanks to Sally for sending this to me. He says, when I was 16, my girlfriend broke up with me. I was pathetic and begged her to change her mind. I thought I was in love and couldn't be without her. I was an idiot. Slap to the back of the head. That was for past you. Look, we've all been there. You can admit and see what an idiot you were. It's called growth and maturity. Never ever make your life about a woman. Make your life about your goals, dreams, and ambitions. Let her find her place if she chooses within it. If she does, keep to your ambitions. However, don't neglect her and never let her become the complete center. By focusing on your purpose, she can see you as the prize, and for many women, that keeps their attraction. It's a balancing act few ever master, and we live and learn as we go. I'm 25 now, and I have promised myself I will never do that again. I've had several relationships and a few hookups, and when they end, I seem sad, but not weak. I've been with my girlfriend for a year and a half. We met at a social function for people in our line of work. We hit it off and started seeing each other more often, then made it exclusive. I hope you're not the one who asked her to be exclusive, but waited for her to ask you, thereby causing her to want and earn that commitment from you. Recently, we have been talking about moving in together. Our city is expensive, and we thought we could save some money. Her apartment is bigger than mine, but I own mine, so we're working stuff out. Slap to the back of the head. Listen, lesson time. Guys, no, no, no. First of all, you need to date for four to five years, not one and a half years, this is not your grandfather's world anymore. You need to give it four to five years to really get to know your woman. And the last year is when you allow her to move in as a trial run. You need to have the opportunity to observe her under all conditions. Discover her gloriousness and uncover where all the lies deceptions, and delusions are. That takes time, practice, and vigilance. Most people can't maintain a facade for that long. And if you are paying attention, their true nature comes out or the inconsistencies in their stories begin to show. Don't be so desperate. Remember, women may control the keys to the bedroom, However, men control the keys to commitment and marriage. This isn't about power and control games. This is solely about choosing wisely because if you don't, the family court system will reward her misdeeds with cash and prizes. Last weekend, out of nowhere, she said that we were moving too fast. Okay, no problem. We didn't make any plans that can't be undone yet. Nope, 
she said that she wanted to break up because she wasn't sure I was all in. I said, okay. Then she freaked out. Apparently, it was a test to see if I would fight for her. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. And I do not appreciate mind games. So I told her that I would box up anything of hers that might be at my place and she could pick it up. Manly pat on the back. You handle that like a king. Guys, never, ever reward such manipulative behavior because it is a precursor to future misery. I'm not a psychologist and this isn't a diagnosis. I do have, however, life experience and this screams to me she needed to test the relationship and seek reassurance suggests an anxious attachment style. Individuals with anxious attachments often fear abandonment and need constant affirmation, think attention and validation, of their partner's commitment. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, in women who will eventually cheat, disrespect, and attempt to cuck you, then blame you for their bad behavior. She accused me of being a cold-hearted a-hole that was only using her for S-word fun. I wasn't. So she is attempting the common manipulation tactic of guilt-tripping you and shifting a blame away from herself after she hit you with a massive poop test to see how much she controlled the situation. I thought we had a future. I wasn't ready to propose or anything, but I thought she was the one. We had met each other's families and she had spent Christmas with us. My parents and sister loved her. I loved her. My mom and dad called me to ask what was going on and I told them. They think I'm being stubborn. My little sister says, I'm being a complete jerk for not forgiving my ex. I just remember crying myself to sleep over and over a girl and refuse to ever do that again. Am I the a-hole? Okay, here are my thoughts. First of all, slap to the back of the head of your parents. One, you are not the a-hole. She is. It seems to me what she did is emotionally manipulative and it plays on your feelings and attempts to control your behavior. I have to wonder what her mother is like. Two, I don't know if anyone has noticed this. However, I've dated this behavior before. It's called emotional dysregulation. Her rapid shift from wanting to break up to freaking out when, you, when the breakup was accepted, says to me, she has difficulty managing her emotions. I hope for the next guy's sake, she doesn't have BPD because that is an element of that. Three, never get involved, marry, or have babies with a woman who has a fear of abandonment issues which seems to go together with individuals with anxious attachment styles. The behavior can stem from deep-seated fear of abandonment, causing her to endlessly test your commitment and react strongly to perceived signs of rejection. As I've always said, if you test something over and over and over, someone constantly and eventually they will fail. The only way to win at this is not to play. Four, I have to wonder about her need to be fought for and the dramatic response to the acceptance of the breakup may indicate, well, narcissistic tendencies. I wonder this because narcissistic individuals often crave attention and validation and may react negatively when they don't receive it. 
five. You said, my parents and sister love her. I loved her. There's a saying, like often attracts like. Dude, you need to take a hard look at your mom and sister. Why are they supporting her and not you? Could it be because they've done the same kind of manipulative poop testing to men in their lives? Because in my mind, their behavior says yes to me. Also, I'm sorry, but you need to think long and hard about the next part. Could it be that the reason you were attracted to her is because she shares a statistically significant number of personality traits with your mom. Consider this straight up. They both agree and are validating her behavior and pressuring you to reward it. You need to ask the painful question, why? Any rate, end it. Don't come back. Cut her off. Let everyone know why and control the narrative because she will lie to all your friends. She's toxic. Let some other weak ass punk become her bitch. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for stopping by and watching this long, and I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories joys and defeats as we work together to not only support each other but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you.